Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, team pilot for Precision Aerobatics and Hobby King, and today we're going to discuss a little bit of uh, something that I don't focus on a lot because we're always trying to learn 3D and straight line flying and control and things like that. But today we're going to uh, take a look at XA and tumbling. Uh, I think it's something, unlike 3D and a lot of the straight line stuff that I do and precision stuff, that stuff is really hard to learn, but tumbling isn't. Um, for the most part, uh, you know, you throw the sticks in a direction, keep the throttle on, and the plane will do some really violent things, and it is very often uh, very impressive to the people watching it. So, uh, today is part one uh, on a series we're going to do uh, of maybe three on different types of tumbling maneuvers and uh, XA maneuvers. I'm not going to go into great detail about each and every one. I just want to explain why this is very easy and why you shouldn't panic when the plane gets really uh, what seems to be out of control. Again, it's, it's a variety. We always talk about 3D and the low slow and the things that are very difficult to do. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, adding a, a nice precision maneuver or a rolling harrier takes months to learn. I mean, just a, a, a straight slow roll could take you three months. And these tumbling maneuvers, a lot of them will take you three minutes or less to learn how to do. And some of them are pretty impressive. I mean, the planes really uh, uh, react uh, and could take a lot of G's and flip really fast, especially the uh, uh, planes with a little bit more mass. So uh, we're not going to do too much depth on it because a lot of them are fairly simple and you just kind of have to get used to the controls. But uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, by, you know, by definition, the uh, uh, XA stuff is a little faster. Um, you can see a little more, you know, a little more violent, a little faster. For this maneuver, just watch. I'm going to literally throw both the sticks in the upper opposite corners. Uh, rudder stick in the top left, other stick in the top right, and full throttle. Point it up a little bit and jam it. And as soon as you let go of the throttle, the plane will stop what it's doing. Um, it's a really simple maneuver to learn, and it looks crazy good. Um, it's closest to maybe a Lomshevok. I don't know what exactly to call it. But there it is. Here's the maneuver with my 40%, uh, and you can see it's just a little slow and lumbering, but you can actually see the complete effect of the maneuver. Again, here's another couple of uses of the same thing. There's the same thing kind of down low. Even on takeoff, it's pretty cool. And yet another example where just throwing the sticks to the corner and just leaving the throttle on, look how nice these tumbles look. Now, again, XA is a lot of flying fast, a lot of fast point rolls and quick snaps. So, you know, the point rolls are a little quicker. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, they look very nice. They require a little bit of practice, obviously, to catch them on point and to learn how to do point rolls. But for the most part, uh, there's a lot of tumbling maneuvers that are fairly easy to do and fairly easy to learn. Um, one of them, for sure, has got to be a, a, a knife edge spin. So we're going to go to the top. We're going to push the plane over directly with the uh, and see it spin. Of course, every aircraft will do this a bit different. This is the XR61. This is a nice close up view of how it looks coming down. This is a very short moment plane, so it's very easy to wrap up like this. Here's my big 40% aircraft. You can really kind of see how it reacts to everything and how nice it looks when it's tumbling like that. It's kind of a nice maneuver. Basically, it's like a, a, a waterfall, which is where you just push the plane over the top. But you're going to just do it at an angle. So obviously, at some point or another, after you add the rudder and a little bit of aileron to get it on its side, uh, the plane will wrap up just like it did. Uh, some planes it's almost automatic, others it takes a little work. I start it over and you see how quick it'll go into that maneuver. Again, this is a PA plane, so they just tend to do everything a little bit easier, a little bit better. 
Another nice tumbling maneuver that I think looks really good uh, is a blender, and a blender is very simple. Um, go up really high, and the first couple of tries, you don't do it uh, very low to the ground. Come straight down, now just hit aileron in one direction, add a little throttle, and then we're gonna flatten it out like that. And that looks really nice. Um, I'll try and show you the, uh, uh, the stick movements uh, to it, uh, you know, one input at a time in, in a still. But the maneuver itself, you know, especially if you wanna, you know, if you wanna come out low, or even, you know, a little softer like this, it looks really nice. Uh, I've got some planes that have a super fast uh, roll rate with the ailerons, and they look super cool. Like this wasn't the greatest plane ever, but it sure rolled fast, so I took advantage of it in the video by doing a bunch of these. I think it looked really good. And again, it's uh, really impressive. You don't have to come out low to the ground. Way down. Little aileron. Accelerate. Add some butter. That's a blender. This is a simple maneuver. It just requires full aileron and then accelerate. Then you're going to add some rudder to make it spiral and then relax everything to flatten it out. All right. I showed you a blender, and a blender has a few iterations that are really cool. Um, as the blender was coming straight down and we uh, do this and we flatten it out, that's doing it pretty slow, okay? Um, you can also do that with a, uh, uh, on a horizontal plane and the plane will actually pinwheel. It is exactly the same maneuver, so I'm going to start it inverted forward. And that's a really nice maneuver. I'm going to do it again. Oops. There we go. We got it to go vertical. Anyway, that's a really nice maneuver. Um, conversely, uh, this same maneuver uh, on a vertical plane uh, becomes a pop top, and you—it's uh, something I like to do. I've even done it on on uh, takeoffs. So here we go. Same maneuver. It's a different angle, and you watch the plane turn like that. The fact that we don't have the same amount of energy going up but we can make it flatten out like a pancake at the top. Uh, this skill require, that skill requires a little uh, practice uh, to get it going. There's a couple of pop tops on takeoff. I think they look really great. It's a nice maneuver. That's a pop top. Conversely, this is the same maneuver. This is called a crankshaft. Same stick movement. This is obviously on a horizontal plane. Here's where we go full left aileron and full throttle. Then we move the right stick up to the corner and add full rudder. This is where we flatten the ailerons and it go to full down elevator. Here we simply relax the rudder and then eventually relax the elevator to center. A lot of these tumbles that look so violent and things like that, like the very first one I showed you, um, really it's, it's an aileron spin where you add a ton of rudder at the same time and when you do that, the plane just kind of does this. It barrels.